Hey everybody, this is 13, and today I want to talk to you about shoes, specifically the Vibram Five Finger Toe Shoes. Now the reason I'm making this video is because recently I wanted to replace my old Vibram V-Trail 1.0s, and I found that I couldn't find a whole lot of first-hand experience of the V-Trex, which are relatively new, as compared to the new revised version, the V-Trail 2.0s. I also threw in the V-Alphas as kind of like a wild card, just to kind of check them out, but ultimately what I'm comparing is the Trex and the Trail 2.0s. If you don't really want to watch this video and you just want a quick answer for yourself, my suggestion would be the Trex for walking outdoors and the Trails for running outdoors. I'd wear these with socks and these without. However, if you want a little bit lengthier of an answer, that's what I'm going to do for you right now. So probably the first thing you're wondering is, should I go into Vibrams? Or perhaps you're wondering, why would someone go into these funny looking shoes? Now me personally, obviously I don't like to wear a shirt, no surprise, I also don't like to wear shoes. Barefoot is more natural and there is a ton of scientific evidence out there to support the fact that shoes really aren't that good for you. I've personally owned three pairs of five fingers throughout my life, so I'm not like super experienced with these products, but I do know that I love them and I am sort of well known for wearing them around and such. The ones that I have owned were the Spyrodons and the Trails and the Mudrun versions. So basically all of them have been these off-road versions and all of them have treated me extremely well. I wear them pretty much any time I'm not on concrete. I use them competitively in mud runs. I use them when I trail run. I trail run here in Florida, so it is predominantly either sandy or muddy, although my favorite way to trail run is whenever I'm running through about a foot of water or so, or through mud, something that's really gross and sticky, but I like it when I'm running and it's splashing up water on me, cooling me, uh, which is super fantastic during the summer months in Florida when it's really hot, but you're running out in the cool water, splashing up, and like, you know, you get to hang out with the alligators and such. It's pretty nice. If you don't know if you want to go with Vibrams, if you want to go with all natural style running, uh, if you've been committed to wearing running shoes and doing the heel toe rotation sort of thing for a long time, if you're unsure, there's a really, really simple and free way to find out whether or not it's right for you. And the answer is quite literally, take off your shoes. It's really important that you notice that you will naturally change your stride and your gait depending on the surface that you're walking on. This is because we've got a whole bunch of sensory network going on in your foot and so you are getting this constant feedback loop from your environment telling you what is the best way to walk. And it's because of that, I don't really believe in having a whole bunch of padding separating you from the earth, from the surface. I used to believe that I didn't want to ever walk on really hard surfaces and the best way to walk around or run or train or anything was always on grass or sand or something soft. That was back when I had the V trails which have extremely aggressive nubby things on the bottom here. So what ends up happening is that's really not that comfortable when you're walking around on hard surfaces because those nubs are getting pushed up. So that was something that I learned rather recently once I switched over to these treks because these treks are much less aggressive and they're more spread out there. So I can walk on hard surfaces all day long wearing these and it's extremely comfortable for me. The whole concept behind these shoes is not to have arch support, not to have heel support, none of that. It's barefoot running, but I mean ultimately you're not barefoot because then you're going to step on something sharp and pointy and then you're going to get really grumpy. The moral of the story is go barefoot if you're trying to decide whether or not you want to start running barefoot. I probably made this decision maybe about eight years ago or so. I can tell you as a career runner doing long distances using traditional shoes, I started to get the knee injuries, you get shin splints, you start having problems in your hips because there's a lot of impact going on. And honestly, it was reading a book called Born to Run, which is really cool, I recommend it. Reading that book kind of set my mind into a different direction and got me excited about running again. And I invested in the shoes, well, version of these shoes, and got out there on those trails and started running again, started getting my cardio back, and all of my injuries involving the lower half of my body started to just melt away. So let's talk about these V-Trex, because these are what I have decided that I love more than any shoe absolutely out there. The V-Trex are a lot smoother on the bottom as compared to this super aggressive nubby. And so therefore I feel comfortable wearing these on harder surfaces like concrete or pavement or I've just been wearing them all day every day around town. 
It's kind of like an ultra suede material, which is super extremely soft. As soon as I put these on, I went, oh my goodness, these are so comfortable. Obviously, all of these shoes are extremely lightweight. They're very thin. They're supposed to be worn without socks, so you're supposed to have the illusion of just wearing nothing at all, but having some barriers between you and the pointy things that are on the ground. The trails, these guys technically, uh, these lasted me a pretty decent amount of time, but the toe, that completely blew out, and even this toe blew out, and you can see that they're really smooth on the bottom, so I really ran these things down. So I knew immediately that I wanted to keep these V-Trex, and so I wanted to try them out and see if they could actually replace my V-Trails. But I have to tell you that these do not replace the V-Trails. These are great everyday type of shoes. I can do yard work in them. Like I said, I can go to the store with them. They have laces, which is kind of a negative when you're out on the trail trying to run as compared to that really cool little strap setup that we're used to on the Vibrams. But the laces kind of make them look more like a traditional shoe, so I don't feel like embarrassed to wear them out in public. What these things are terrible at. Okay, I tried running through the mud. No, just as soon as I got these wet, they became separated from my foot. Kind of like running with like a big loose jacket. It wasn't uncomfortable, but I became aware of the presence of these shoes because they were now wiggling around on my feet. When I'm wearing these normally around, I'm not wearing socks with them. And I honestly just don't even notice that they're on there. They're just really comfortable, really light, and they just kind of float around my foot. When they get wet, that is not the case. My other biggest gripe with these things is these do not keep stuff out. These are not a KSO, a keep stuff out. These are a, I let everything in around my foot, all up in here. It's a little bit higher of a cuff here than the other shoes, um, but man, everything gets in there. Another thing about these treks that's not so great is I took them out uh, running through like a marsh area. So like basically salt water, okay? The salt water got all up in this and then the salt water and the dirt that had gotten in this little lip right there that was rubbing on my ankle and I ended up getting a pretty nasty rash from that. But that's because I used these for something that they definitely aren't for. If I had taken that marsh run wearing these shoes with the socks, I would have had no problems. Wearing the socks, prevents any stuff from getting into the shoes because it's really tight, so it keeps stuff out, and it also prevents any sorts of rubbing anywhere, which keeps the run nice and comfortable. I can tell you that I took them out onto a muddy trail, which is what I always used to run in, like I said, with my V-trails, and that's a slip and slide. I did not enjoy that at all. With these, these are just all-terrain gripper tires, man. These things are crazy. I can go off on crazy angles. I can dig my feet in and push off. I really feel like a wild animal with some spikes on or something because I can just run however I want in these things. These, not so much. A little bit more conservative. However, super, super comfortable. These, really not very comfortable. People are not happy with these versus the other shoes. Personally, I've always worn my V-Trails with socks, so I can't fully relate to trying to wear these without socks because these are really uncomfortable without socks to me. I find that these, although they fit fantastic and wonderful, these ones, the big toe is like a little bit shorter and my pinky toe is just barely even in that pocket. So I'm maxed out at the big toe and barely even in the pinky toe socket. However, when I wear socks with these, it makes everything a little bit fatter and these feel like they're shrink wrapped around my feet and that's how I can really sink them down with the little strap guy and I can go crazy in the mud. Now I am saying that, however, having never actually taken these out. These are still brand new with the little tag on them, uh, but I'm not gonna return them because I know already that I can't use these for what I am trying to replace in these. So since these were already uncomfortable for me to wear without socks, and these are uncomfortable for me to wear without socks, I'm going to assume I'm assuming that these are gonna be just the same with socks as they were before. They both share the same sort of lug nut pattern on the bottom, um, which was, that's basically what I really wanted out of that shoe again. They've got the same drawstring thing there. Uh, it's got the little toe wraps that go around, so it should be really good for what I want. Let's talk about these V Alphas real quick, because like I said, wild card, I got them here. Uh, these are the absolute lightest ones out of the three of them. There's practically nothing to them. 
They have a different bottom to them. As you can see, it's not the aggressive lug that it is there, but they are still look at the triangular pattern uh, as compared to this one's more hexagonal and all that jazz. So these are comfortable on concrete. They're extremely light. These are as close to minimalist, nothing, shoe, barefoot, whatever, you know? These just aren't what I am personally looking for, but I imagine if you're walking outdoors and you want as barefoot as possible, these are where you wanna go. However, honestly, I love these, and I have put these on, and I just don't feel that they are as comfortable as these. These, definitely the most uncomfortable, the heaviest, the stiffest, whatever. I mean, they're still super flexible and stuff, but like they are the most aggressive. So as much as I hate having multiple pairs of shoes, I got to admit, I'm keeping two of them and I'm going to return these guys. These will be my replacements for when I'm going anytime I'm going running or anytime I'm going to go through water or anytime I'm going to go through mud. Anything wet is going to get these guys on. I'm going to wear socks with them because that way they stick to my feet. Anytime I'm going walking or trailing or or just doing stuff around the house or even in the shop on slab concrete, don't care. These are now my everyday shoes. I wear these like they're just normal shoes. Now again, it's important to mention that your body has to adapt to wearing barefoot shoes as compared to wearing traditional shoes. So if you just cold turkey stop wearing normal shoes and just start going around barefoot, you're gonna have a bad time. The primary reason that I wanted to get these into my life every day is because I want to be able to enjoy these when I go trail running with better performance out of my own body. Speaking of how everybody's body is different, I am not gonna show you my actual feet because nobody wants to see that. And if you do, then I definitely don't wanna be showing you my feet. Uh, however, my feet are retarded, okay? My toes do straight up that type of action. They are all over each other. My pinky toes legitimately sideways. It's really unfortunate. I get that from my dad. I try not to hold it against him. But the fact of the matter is, is when I was running back in the day with normal shoes, I would always get blisters or hot spots or literally it would tear out toenails. It was disgusting. I was constantly having toe injuries because of the way that my feet were just jammed inside of shoes. When I first started wearing these five finger shoes was when I felt relief for the first time because it forced my toes apart. I of course got socks to go along with those things back in the day and then I started to realize that I would wear my toe socks even with normal hiking boots or normal shoes because all of a sudden it removed all of my toe problems. So I personally really, really benefit from having my toes forced apart. I understand that some people don't like that sensation. It's not for everyone. I love the V-Trails with socks, so I am going to assume that I am going to love the V-Trail 2.0s with socks. And I love the V-Trex without socks, assuming I'm not getting wet and I'm not running. I imagine if I knew that I was gonna do a dry run, then I could wear these with socks and I would be super honky-dory. Okay, well, if you're shopping for Vibrams, I hope that was somewhat helpful for you. It was at least a lot more insight and in-depth into the particular, the V-Trex here, because I couldn't find a whole lot of information regarding those online. But the V-Trail 2.0s, I wish I had more to say on them, other than the fact that like everyone that I saw that was really complaining about them is because they don't wanna wear socks with them. So, I don't know, man. Buy at your own risk sort of thing. The Alphas, I feel, are in a personally, they're just in a whole other different product category. These are your outdoor shoes for walking and for running. That's what I got to say. This is 13. Thanks for watching. See you later.